Hey, girlfriends. No, that's not how you do it. It's hey, girlfriends. Hey, girlfriends. Welcome to my mommy's channel. Today is my low porosity wash day. So stay tuned for the takeover. Yeah. So girlfriends, we're just going to jump right into this video. As you can see, this is my daughter, Zanaya, and I will be showing you her full wash day routine in this video. Um, she has medium density, low porosity, type 3 and type 4 hair. Um, I think she has type 3C and type 4A hair and her hair tends to be on the drier side and her scalp as well. So yeah, we're just gonna wash it, treat it, style it, and I'll show you the entire routine. So as you can see, she had these little braids in um, for school. This hairstyle lasted her the whole week. I did refresh her hairstyle midweek, so like on a Wednesday. And yeah, her hair's not looking too, too bad right now. Um, it is drier in some areas, like the front gets really dry, the back not so much. Um, as you can see, I'm taking down her hair and I'm detangling as I go. I always spritz water and a little bit of conditioner on her hair just to soften it up a bit. I never detangle her hair when it's dry. Um, that will cause too much tension and friction and encourage a lot more breakage. And it'll hurt your little one so I definitely definitely encourage you to spritz their hair with water before you detangle so as you can see I'm oiling her hair and her scalp and I'm using that ginger and clove oil blend that I made on my previous video so go check that out if you are interested so I'm just massaging it into her scalp giving her a mini scalp massage with my fingers to start and I'm rubbing it through the lengths of her hair as well and I'm combing it through now if you have low porosity hair you're gonna want to take this a step further just to make sure that the oils are penetrating your hair because as you know it repels moisture and the oils they pretty much just sit on top of her hair um, so yeah I'm just making sure that I'm combing it through and making sure that the oils are distributed evenly and I'm doing both sides so here I'm just showing you the difference between one side side that is oiled and then the other side that is not oiled as yet and then after her hair is oiled we use the scalp massager just to further distribute the oils throughout her scalp and to further promote hair growth and we typically do this for anywhere from three to five minutes um, or whatever <laughs> she's willing to sit down for um, so yeah and then after this we go under a hooded dryer because again if you have low porosity hair you want to make sure that this oil is penetrating and applying heat is the best way to do that so here we are under the hooded dryer for 15 minutes so while she's under the hooded dryer this is the perfect time to create the hair mask and this one is a strengthening and moisturizing hair mask I'm using Amla and Moringa as we know Amla promotes hair growth and it's a great natural conditioner and moisturizer so if you have low porosity hair definitely look into using Amla Moringa is loaded with nutrients and vitamins A B C and E and it has amino acids that is very very good for your hair and it's responsible for nourishing your hair as well and I'm also adding some honey um, this will help with moisture retention and your hair strands will feel like super soft and shiny and then I'm going in with my Jamaican black castor oil just for some extra moisture this is going to make your low porosity hair feel super moisturized and nourished so yeah this is what I like to do for hair and I'm just mixing it in uh, really well it does look lumpy but it's not I guarantee you it's mixed pretty well so here we are in the tub and I'm about to wash her hair with this shampoo um, I saw this on Amazon and I thought I'd give it a try um, and I've been using it on her hair for a few months now and I actually really like it it's a clarifying shampoo but it's not too harsh it feels a little bit like it's stripping your hair but it doesn't leave your hair like that bar soap squeaky feeling 
but yeah the shampoo really cleanses her hair especially when you have low porosity hair and you're really trying to um, retain moisture and you might add a lot of products to your hair in order to do that um, this will definitely remove all those layers and give your hair a nice deep clean so I really like this shampoo so check it out if you're interested um, yeah so I'm just uh, conditioning her hair with the Garnier um, just the same one that I use in my hair and then I'm going in with the hair mask and as you can see I apply it to her hair while it's dripping wet um, for low porosity hair I think this is best because the hair dries so fast that you know you're not going to be able to apply it on dry hair you're going to constantly have to spritz it so just do it in the shower or do it in the bath um, yeah so I'm just applying it uh, very generously working that through her hair and look at it I really love this it's a super strengthening hair mask and it thickens her hair strands as well so I really love it especially if she because she does have medium density which is not bad but um, definitely if you want to voluminize your hair this would be great for that as well and then we're back under the hooded dryer so that all of this goodness can penetrate that is the key and once we rinse that out this is what her hair is looking like looking like a little diana ross my little mini mane up in here look at her she's so cute <laughs> come through girl so um yeah she's just showing off and showing out right now <laughs> um so yeah now we're gonna move on to styling her hair so as you can see her hair gets dry super fast so i'm rehydrating her hair with water water will be your best friend and all that you do a low porosity girl's best friend is water so for her leave-in i'm using the natural nourishing avocado leave-in conditioner and i really like this it's kind of like you know when you're putting your makeup on and then you put a primer on it's kind of like that. It acts like a great base to put under your styling cream. Um, it's super nourishing and it applies, uh, it applies really well. As you can see, her curls are looking juicy and bouncy and curly and just super moisturized and hydrated. So now we're moving on to the styling cream and this one is from Carol's Daughter. It's a coil enhancing moisture butter for very dry curly to coily hair and this stuff let me tell you this stuff is everything okay this is crack okay um this is so good for her hair it keeps it super moisturized and it is on the thicker side um so it really um hydrates her hair nourishes her hair and we've actually gotten away without using gels um, and things like that and I just used this product alone and it was summertime and her hair was still intact there was no flyaways no frizzies and it lasted about three days before I had to refresh her curls so I'm telling you this stuff is the truth get into it look into it um, I definitely recommend this one um, so as you can see I'm raking the product um, through her hair with my fingers first and then I'm going in with a detangling hairbrush and um, distributing the product and then I'm just giving her hair a little shake to encourage the curls and look at that we juicy juicy look at this okay girl show up oh oh over the shoulder oh don't hurt him <laughs> So once we put in the leave-in and the styling cream, um, I'm going to diffuse her hair for a few minutes. Um, and I do this until the creams have sort of absorbed in her hair and I don't see that white cast on her hair. Um, and then I go in with the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. And I love this stuff because it doesn't cake up and it doesn't leave a cast and it keeps your hair super hydrated and moisturized which is key okay we don't use gels um and i sometimes use mousse on her hair but for the most part this is my go-to for her hair um and yeah again i like to put it in just after maybe 10 minutes of diffusing just so that um, all the products aren't super cakey and clumpy and again that white cast i don't like it and you can see that the products they don't gel well together because 
obviously it's not the same brand so they they don't work well together but I find that when you diffuse for a little bit and then you apply your gel or your mousse or your custard um, it tends to work better so yeah this is her hair being blow dried on medium heat and then I'm going to seal this in with jojoba oil which is super lightweight but it's a great sealant um, for low porosity hair as well and yeah that is it that is the routine this is what she's looking like super juicy and bouncy and hydrated curls um, and she's loving it you, look at her she just doesn't know how to act I mean come through beauty okay yes <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you found this video informative share it with your friends and we'll see you in another one yes mm -hmm.